Finally, welcome to Bulgaria. What are your expectations for tonight? A good show. <laughs> I'm expecting to uh, have a good crowd. Play a nice, relaxed show. <laughs> so, it's been 25 years now. How do you feel you have changed, you personally have changed through all these years? Well, too drastically, I would say. I'm still doing the same like I did when I was 18. And um, it's still a lot of fun doing it. And I'm really grateful to all the fans worldwide who made it possible to do this. Otherwise, it would never have happened. <laughs> I hope we can continue for another 25 years. Well, your last material is called Never Give Up. Uh, have you had moments of desperation when you said to yourself that you don't want to do this anymore? No, I never really thought this. Uh, this, this song is uh, actually about a friend of mine who had some big problems at this moment and was the inspiration for this song. So it's not autobiographically. And our newest material, I have is a new album that we just finished the recordings. Strings to a web, it's going to be titled and it's coming out next year in February 5th. Yeah, I was just about to ask okay, you that one. So <laughs> and uh, could you reveal a little something for it? The musical direction, maybe? Or... For the new album? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah um, it's not a drastic change, it has, it has pretty, much, pretty much the same power sound wise, but it sounds more natural like the last one. It's not uh, this big sample on the drums, for example, it's pretty raw. And um, <clears throat> musical-wise, it has uh, more variety than the last one. You know, the last one was like ten songs, pretty much same direction. You know, this one we have a, a long twenty-minute song with full orchestration, and uh, there's an instrumental part in the middle, which um, which is actually the title track, "Strings to a Web," which is similar to what we do on Unity, for example. Yeah, there's going to be a ballad on this one, and uh, also the metal stuff. It's um, has a lot of variation. You know, like for some down tune stuff like uh, uh, straight to hell for example it's kind of stuff. <coughs> so all in all it's it's a really interesting and cool album I like it very much I think it's one of the better we did um how did the tour go uh, something maybe more interesting to tell about it well uh, <coughs> for this this 25 anniversary yeah. shows we, this was already in spring this year when we, when we did all this touring uh, Everything went pretty smooth about it, and we had some really nice shows also over summer with some special shows uh, on bigger festivals where we played with a lot of guests, musicians from the band, and a lot of friends that were in the of it. Slow, for example, Hans Kirsch from My Guardian, Schneer from Extraction was with us on stage, and we had some really nice, interesting shows. <laughs> Films is also, so probably that's my material for a future DVD. Is there something that you feel that you haven't achieved yet and want to? <laughs> so as a musician, um, I think this was a pretty fulfilled life what we had so far. We had the opportunity to try a lot of different things. We also brought something new in the metal scene when we did uh, as the first metal band ever. We played with orchestra and recorded with orchestra in the middle 90s long before this became a fashion. <coughs> I think we, we gave them impulse for this at this time. So um, let's see what's gonna what's gonna come in the future. You know, we are always very uh, let's say we, we don't we don't want to limit our, our creativity. You know, so if we have like inspiration for to do something special, so we want to do it. You know? But you can't plan this kind of stuff. You know. Um, you all celebrated uh, the nuclear blast anniversary as one big f happy family. Uh, is that how you feel about the label? No, I mean, a big happy family, this would be too much, I would say. It was a, a nice live show we did uh, with a lot of other uh, artists from the label. But uh, in general, it's, it's like in this metal scene, you know everybody. You know? We are so long in the scene, you know, like, uh, like uh, the, the Rolling Stones of metal. <laughs> <laughs> And you know everybody in the, in the, from the other bands, and uh, we have a lot of friends among the other bands, so it was a really a, a nice show to do, you know, with all these different musicians coming together. We played uh, a lot of jam with a lot of sounds, you know, and um, it's not necessarily connected to the, to the label, you know, but of course it's, it's good that we have a label like Nuclear Blast because they, they did a lot for, for metal in the, in the 90s, you know, and um, also today. 
it's, you know, it's one of the most successful labels still. And it's really, all the other labels they crumble and just go away. You know. Even SPV is gone. You know. <laughs> and actually, this is the last label that we ever signed to that still exists. You know. When I think about it, all the labels we've been before are all gone. You know. <laughs> we survived them all. <laughs> Uh, could you explain the, the concept behind your mascot? Oh, the skull with the teeth. Yeah, the sound chaser, that's his name. Yeah. It's a, a biomechanical being, and uh, the inspiration for this was uh, actually coming from H.P. Lovecraft, from this author, uh, from the 19th century, you know, this very early horror stories. Uh, he's writing in the tradition of Edgar Allan Poe, and <clears throat> he's always having this kind of always repeating uh, idea about this great old ones from another planet that uh, came here on, on Earth long before life existed and, and they established everything here and so this, this was the inspiration for our sound chaser being you know. uh, the whole story is explained actually on the other sound a little bit so if you want to know all about it just by the other well, you haven't always been the legend rage. Uh, what advice would you give to the young musicians? What's the formula to such a success? There's no formula for this kind of stuff. Um, just continue doing what you do and believe in you yourself. Never give up. And, yeah, believe in what you do and try to develop your own music. You know, it's. I think it doesn't make any sense just to copy what others did. You know, be creative. Um, well. Thanks a lot, and could you give some final words special for the Bulgarian fans and for Metal Hanger 18 and its supporters? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, the biggest message I can already say, like I mentioned already before, is big, big thanks to everybody who supported the band over the years. Without the fans, nothing would be there. We keep the whole scene 